Hey, welcome to Legitimate Nails. Today I'm going to show you how to do this dope drip lip design. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the dripping lips design today. And it's 4th of July themed, but you can switch the colors and, you know, make it your own. Okay, so you're going to need a really thin striping brush to do this. And it doesn't have to be the best brush in the world. Just make sure that it's real hair and it's not synthetic. I'm starting with the top lip and I'm just doing a basic M shape. And make sure you do it thinner than what you want your end result to be because it's easier to add to the design than it is to take away. And the best advice I can give you for clean lines is to just not believe. And here's the top lip. So now I'm just thickening up the lips. And now I'm going to start the bottom lip. Start in the corner from where the top lip leaves off and gently bring it down and then back up to meet the other corner. When it comes to thickening up the bottom lip, just take it easy. Make it thicker towards the middle and thinner when you get to the corners. Try not to get too hung up on making it look exactly like mine. The lips are all different. Now I'm working on the tongue. And I haven't cured it yet. I'm just trying to get it as close to the bottom lip as I can without touching. And if you're not comfortable with that, go ahead and just cure the lips before you get started with the tongue. That way, if you make a mistake, it'll be an easy fix. And now I'm going to put it in the lamp to cure. Okay, so I started working on the teeth, but it turns out I was out of frame a little. You basically just want to follow the same concept as the tongue. Try to make sure that the other parts aren't touching. Now if you mess up, don't panic. It can be fixed. I'm actually about to touch those two teeth by accident right now. So grab a toothpick and recreate the line by dragging it from the top to the bottom of the teeth. Wipe off your toothpick between each stroke. Thankfully, since we've already cured the lips and the tongue, 
we can just kind of scrape against the side of the tongue without messing anything up. And just repeat as necessary. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but that's why we try not to make mistakes in the first place. Okay, I'm going to get started on the bottom teeth. So I've already cured the teeth, and now I'm going to be doing the drip design. If you want to do it ahead of time, when you're originally doing the lips, go ahead. But if you mess up, it's going to be a lot harder to just fix the little drip. You're going to have to wipe away the entire lip. And also to make sure that your lip is even and there's no random bumps, just go ahead and go back over the entire bottom lip again. Right here I'm just counting the stripes to make sure that all of the drips aren't going to be in the same color. So I wanted to have one of the drips disconnecting from the lips, and that's what I'm going to do right here in the corner. And I'm bringing it out a little farther than the others, that way when you look at it head on, you can tell that it's there. Okay, and we're ready to cure. Okay, we're finally going to add some color. But before you get started, take a buffer and lightly buff over the lips. And that will be for the top lip design. When you're done with the stripes, just go ahead and clean up any mistakes you might have made before you cure it. I noticed I got some on the tongue. When you're done curing the stripes, go ahead and grab a pink and use that for the tongue. If you make a mistake, again, you can just use a toothpick since you already cured everything else. Now clean up the lines if you need to, and then cure. Now for the top lip, you're going to want to grab a blue permanent marker and just randomly dab all over the top lip. Take a small brush and dip it in 99% isopropyl alcohol. Make sure that your brush isn't soaking wet. You might need to dab it on your paper towel before you touch your nail. But that's how you get this effect. This is up to you, but I decided to go over the teeth again with one more layer just to make them pop a little more. I'm going to finish up and then I'll cure it. Now use a small brush to apply the top coat to the lips and teeth. Unfortunately, the top coat kind of messes with the Sharpie design, so just don't put a whole bunch on there.
And if you want to make it extra dope, go over a tooth with a silver or gold polish. And here is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this. I really hope you learned something. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment either here or on my Instagram. It's the same name, Legitimate Nails. I'm a brand new channel, so I would super duper appreciate if you shared this video, if you liked it. Um, I'm probably going to be uploading every Saturday, so check back next Saturday for a new design.